Hi guys, it's Ben Heath, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create Google Ads promotion extensions. Now, if you ever run sales, discounts, promotions of any kind, which most businesses do, and at least should if they don't, and then it's an absolute no-brainer to go ahead and set up promotion ad extensions. They're quick and easy to do. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So I'm in an example Google Ad account. I've gone to the Ads and Extensions section over here on the left and selected Extensions. Gonna click on this blue button and then go right to the bottom and select Promotion extension. Now, like a lot of Google ad extensions, you can add these at the account, campaign, or ad group level. I think when it comes to promotion extensions, it often makes the most sense to add at more specific levels because when you're running promotions, you're more likely to be running certain discounts, percentages off, things like that, off specific products or offers, as opposed to just everything you sell. Now, of course, you could be doing it off everything you sell, in which case, account extension and a 30% discount across our entire range, that's absolutely fine. But typically, we end up going with the slightly more specific level for our promotion extensions. Okay, the next thing we need to select is our occasion, okay? So you can just use none because Google understands that sometimes we just run sales for the sake of running sales. There's no specific occasion or time of the year or event that we're tying it to. So you can just go with none and that's the default, that's absolutely fine. But you can go with one of the very many options and different ones obviously are going to apply depending on your part of the world, et cetera, et cetera. So you can scroll through and have a good look through and see, you know, do I want to run a, a Black Friday sale or a Boxing Day sale or, 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 or whatever, okay? So again, these are going to differ depending on your location because there's different cultural events that, that take place and all that sort of stuff or where you're advertising. Um, but you can go through and select one that's, that's appropriate if that's what you want to go ahead and do. You can run a Mother's Day sale, Father's Day sale, all that sort of stuff, right, okay? I'm going to go ahead and just stick with none for now, but just be aware that you can go ahead and add that in. Oh, and by the way, like with all ad extensions, we've got a fantastic preview on the right-hand side. So if I just quickly, for example, flash into, um, let's say a summer sale, we can see it's got summer sale right there. And that's what that will look like. Okay, I'm gonna go back and select none. The next is language. Um, so obviously select your language, that's fairly self-explanatory. Now it's important to quickly state that whatever language you select here has to be congruent, has to be the same language as what you have on your landing page. I couldn't select English and then send people to a landing page that's got Spanish. That Google's not gonna like that at all. Then you've got currency, again, exactly the same applies. So whatever currency you use here has to be what your prospect is going to see when they come through to the destination URL. Let's say, for example, we sell all our products for our courses in pounds, but we're looking to advertise in France. We can't go ahead and select euros and then just hope they do the conversion. Google's not gonna like that. It has to match and be the same, okay? I'm gonna use D, uh, GBP there. Promotion type, so there's a few different options here. We've got monetary discount. So let's say, for example, we wanted to offer 50 pounds off, and you can see that get added into the preview over here. And that's fairly self-explanatory. So that's an amount off the total price, um, or, or the typical price, let's say. We've got percentage discount. Now that's obviously a little bit different. So we could have 25% off, we could have 65% off, whatever it is that you're able to offer. Um, and then we've got both of those, but in up to formats. So we've got up to monetary discounts, and we could have up to you know 150 pounds off. Now that's going to apply if you're more advertising, see a range of products. So some you might have 150 pounds off, some you might have less because let's say they're they're lower value um, items, lower priced items, so you can't offer the same level of discounts, absolutely fine. And then you could obviously do the same with a percentage discount. So you could have up to 43% off or whatever the number has to be, knowing that it's not just that one offer, it's not like 43% off everything, it's 43% off um, the range of products being advertised here. Okay, then we go into the item. Now, with the item, it's important to put this in relation to the promotion type. So for example, with an up 2% discount, we might have something like um, all football boots. Okay, you've got 20 characters, so it's pretty short in there. We've got 18 just about fits in there. Um, so you don't have a huge amount of space, just be aware of that. And all football makes, make, makes sense, right? Because we're offering up to 43% off all football boots. And I've catalyzed these here. You can see that because of the way it's going to be written, you may choose not to. Most Google Ads related things I like um, to capitalize the first letter because I think that works well. But if you wanted to get rid of the, the all capital and just go with, for example, football boots, that might be best. You could even get rid of the capitals here and just go with the F, lowercase F and the B. That's absolutely fine. Then enter in your final URL. That's pretty self-explanatory. Someone clicks specifically on this promotion extension, where are they going to be taken to? Now, when it comes to entering in your final URL, you need to put this in relation to the level at which you've created this promotion extension. So if you've got this going to a very specific 
product page, let's say, but you've created this promotion extension at the account level or even the campaign level, that might not be appropriate. Remember, if it's at the account or campaign level, this promotion extension could appear at any time that the account, that, that, that an ad from that account or an ad from that campaign is displayed. So be very conscious of that. And that's typically why we get more specific and go at the ad group level. Okay, then we've got promotion details. So we can either have nothing, which is absolutely fine, but this is kind of like the criteria that needs to be met in order for this promotion to apply. So we can go on orders over. So let's say we were giving 43% discount off football boots, but only if you order a hundred pounds worth, for example, and you can see it gets added in here, right? Up to 43% off all football boots on orders over 100 pounds. You could also do a promo code. So let's say someone just needed to enter in like, I don't know, foot 43, and that gets them 43% off football boots. So along those lines, fairly self-explanatory, okay? Then we get down into this display promotion date section, um, also some advanced options, which are really important. But before I discuss those, just wanna quickly mention my company's done for you Google Ads services. So we can create, manage, and optimize your Google Ad campaigns for you. We can help you get better results and take that workload off your plate. If you're interested, you can click on the link in the video description below. That'll take you to a page on our website where you can book in a free call with one of our team members, no obligation call. You can just find out more information how we might be able to help. We do have a 3K per month minimum budget requirement, but if you meet that, go ahead and book a call and um, yeah, hopefully we get a chance to work together. Okay, so what do we have going on down here in this display promotion dates? So obviously a lot of times promotions aren't evergreen. They're not gonna be running all the time. Sometimes they are, and that's fine. You can leave this as none, which is the default, but sometimes they're only gonna run for a specific time. Like let's say for example, right now I'm recording this on October. If you had an autumn or a, a fall sale, for example, perhaps you could have that run for the month of October, or you could have it run for, you know, first September through to the end of November. You can choose whatever dates you want. And obviously this is going to depend, this is gonna vary depending on what kind of promotion you are running. And what's very important is that if, for example, let, let, me, let me just change the example slightly. So I'm recording, as you can see here on the 17th of October. If I only wanted to run this from say the 25th of October to the 31st, so just for that, for that week, if I launch this ad extension today, this will still, this location extension will still display even though the dates here are 25th of October to 31st of October, because this is just displaying when this promotion is valid, right? So the dates of your promotion, and you'll see it's added in here, right? Valid 25th of October to 31st of October. If you want your promotion ad extension to be shown in line with the dates in which it is valid, which is what I would recommend, that kind of makes sense. It kind of seems silly to advertise a promotion, you know, a week before it's actually valid. For some businesses, if you're offering like an event or something big that people will hang around for, that's fine, but for most it's not gonna make sense. But if you want it to line up, then what you wanna do is go into advanced options and we've got extension and scheduling. So this is when the actual extension, the promotion ad extension is going to be displayed. Select when your ad extension will be eligible to show. Eligible to show. So for example, if we wanted to match this up and run this from the 25th of October to the 31st of October, that means that this ad extension is now only going to be shown and run during the dates in which it is valid. Something I would recommend doing if this applies to your business. Then we can of course set a schedule if we want. This is gonna to apply to some businesses more than others. So you could just run it Monday to Fridays, just certain times of the day, just during weekends. I mean, this, this is probably more applicable to um, service-based businesses where you're going to have someone or local businesses even where you're going to have someone call you pick up the phone take advantage of something and you want staff available to be able to help convert that person there and then this applies less to e-commerce businesses where people can just check out any time of day any day of the week etc but you can go ahead and add in a schedule like with most google ads related stuff okay so that's it for the setup and um, what i'd encourage you to do is create a bunch of different promotion extensions test lots of different options. These really can make a difference. You can see using the preview um, that it can give a lot of really useful information very quickly and easily. People can click on these. If they do, we know the data is very clear that people are more likely to go ahead and convert. So yeah, go ahead and add promotion extensions. Just takes a few minutes. Check the data, test new options. You'll likely see better results if you do. And before you go, there's another ad extension that I strongly encourage you to set up, and that's SiteLink extensions. You can go ahead and see my video on it here. In it, I provide you all the information you need to set up SiteLink extensions, including a whole bunch of examples, best practices. If you haven't already got that set up, check out this video and go ahead and do that. Thanks, guys.